You all have been asking, Chiskul, how good is Relic Minamoto with Relic Double C? And I've got to tell you, it's really impressive. In fact, it was so impressive that we didn't even realize that at the start of the testing, we had a Barbarian build running because Relic Minamoto Double C was winning anyways, and that is absolutely insane. So stick around in this video for the full set of testing with the proper build, with Swarm testing, and I'll show you the results with the Barbarian build just so you can compare to something because yeah, then we can see exactly how good the right talents are. So... Stick around, grab your popcorn, because Relic Minamoto with Relic Double C is really a lot better than you would expect. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and in this video, I'm doing the thing you've been asking, as I've been making videos in a series covering all of the Relic Commanders in Rise of Kingdoms, testing to prove how good they are or they aren't. And... I was not expecting Minamoto with double C to be as good as it performed. But the reason that it performs so well is just the amount of raw stats here is absolutely insane. And I will just, spoiler alert, <laughs> tell you the test results kind of up front here, and then we'll go into the details, which is that this is not a meta combo. It is not the best of the best. If you have XY with William, you should just use that because this combo is lacking in area of effect damage. But what it has picked up is a really solid boost to stats. I mean, 20% defense, 25% attack, 20% health, 200 damage factor. That should be pretty eye-popping in terms of the amount of extra punch that it's gotten. And yes, you will see in the battle reports, it represents in that single target damage. But that is the downfall of this combo. It really is focused on doing lots of single target damage. And what I found surprising in the test results, however, is that the defensive boost of the 20% defense and 20% health from the relics actually gives this march a shocking amount of uh, tankiness, even when it is getting swarmed, which we will prove to you. But let me just talk for a moment about why you would consider using this march in the open field. And it's really all about this debuff right over here, Warlord. Warlord makes it so that... Uh, there's a 10% chance that the target is going to take 30% more damage for three seconds. This is backbreaking for marches that are getting swarmed. Absolutely backbreaking. Because this is not a buff to Minamoto, it's a debuff onto the target, which means everything hitting it gets the benefit. Also, I just want to call attention to the fact that Double C is a really nice debuff on here. 40% attack reduction is a large amount of attack reduction, and it's for three seconds. There's also a march speed reduction. Okay, that's fine. There's a little bit of healing. Gives it a nice a nice amount of sustain. A little bit of rage gen, which gives a nice rage engine. And that is probably a good segue to talk about the talents. Because what we wanted to do with the talent build here is really crank out the damage as fast as we could. Here is the final build that we ultimately landed on for the Relic Minamoto Relic Double C test. And it leans in on generating lots of rage to do tons of single target skill damage from Minamoto. We also took Latent Power, which is an ability that improves your damage over time. And we took the Rage all the way in the upper left of the tree, nine Rage per turn, because based off of the sort of napkin math we had going, you could potentially fire off your active skills a turn sooner, which seemed worth it. But I will point out that we are missing Halberd, the talent that gives you 9% extra damage to archers. So you could theoretically shave off those four points in the upper left over there, put three points into Halberd, one point into Peacekeeping for some March Speed, because obviously March Speed is really nice. And I think that would also be a fine build. And in case you were wondering, here is the uh, Barbarian build that uh, we had forgotten to switch off to for the first round of tests. And just to be very clear, when we did our testing and we realized that the wrong build was on, uh, we ended the arc match and then fired up a new one switched the build before the match started, just so there's no questions about the viability of these actual test results. And I do like to test in an Ark of Osiris environment because you can do lots of tests, there's no repair bills. And I mean, we all care about winning an Ark, right? So I think it's a viable place to see how a commander ultimately performs. Now the gear, let me show you. The gear that we were using was basically equivalent to this on both of us. Uh, it wasn't exactly the same set of gear, but we used city skins and token buffs to make it so that the stats were ultimately almost identical. So the stats are 
almost 100% identical here using a set that looks like this. You can see that I have the infantry talented stuff on my XY because I wanted to have the same things as my opponent did. And thank you again, Frosty, for doing all of this testing with me. I really appreciate it. We've got a ring and horn over here that's not talented. He had a ring and horn that was not talented. Ring and horn over here. The combos used, by the way, include Guan Leo, Guan Alex, uh, Nebu with Esong, who is Relic, by the way, and then also XY with William. So this is a series of tests against the meta to see how does Minamoto double C2, and it's time that we go and get a look at the results. I'm going to start by showing you the results with the Barbarian hunting build, because we didn't even realize the Barbing build was equipped, because the combo was doing so well against Guan Leo. Here you can see that we are uh, losing the fight with Guan Leo against Mina double C. I've got infantry, man. Granted, Guan Leo does a lot of area of effect damage. I get that. I get that. But uh, Minnow double C wins once. It wins twice. Then in a third attempt, it loses. This is a big reason why I never try to show you single test results. I try to generate many test results because randomness can majorly change the outcome that you're looking at. Here's another result where Mina double C wins. Uh, and it wins by a couple thousand sevs and also has over 50,000 troops remaining. And a fifth time, fifth test, fourth time, Mina double C wins. I mean, this is a barbing build. So the differential in sevs was typically two to 3,000. Try to remember that number. I'll remind you of it later when we go and look at the proper build because the results only get better. And it was really against archers where we started scratching our head going, why is this losing? And Neb B song is actually just really good. Archers are beating freaking cavalry. But a part of the reason is that I am the Ottoman civilization. So, so is, so is uh, Frosty, but you know, I have the archer special unit. I have 5% extra health from being an archer commander or, or you, you know, using archers from my civilization. It, it's not exactly an apples to apples comparison. So we said, okay, in these tests, and we looked at the build and we were like, what's wrong? Oh, wait a minute, wrong build applied. And that's, that's when we started to go back to the drawing board. We ran these tests anyways um, against, oh, here's another one, by the way, against Nebi Song, about 5,000 sev wound differential here. But then we, we ran an, a couple XY William tests just to see, right? Barb build, we'll run them anyways. And there's like four or 5,000 uh, sev wound differential. Here's like an 8,000 sev wound differential and then about 3,000 sev wound differential. So we said, okay, okay, okay. The Barb build, that's, that's, that's not what we were trying to test. So we, we reset, we did another one. I, Save this report as my little bookmark here to split between them. Here are the actual test results with the proper build, and we can see just how much better they are. Here is the result. Expanding the victory margin by several thousand sev wounds and having over 10,000 extra troops remaining at the end of the fight is kind of a big deal. So this is 31,000 to almost 27,000, and then another one over here, 31,000 to about 26,500. We ran Guan Leo again, and then we've got a wider margin of victory, about 6,000 sevs, and then another Guan Leo. This one about even. In fact, we win the fight with the Mina double C, but lose the trade, and that has to do with the healing that's happening. 7,600 extra troops thrown back into the mix ultimately means that you can have more sevs, so in an unfavorable matchup, you can still win in terms of actually beating the enemy march, as happened here, but lose in terms of the number of troops that you had ultimately get wounded. And then we switch things up. And we say, okay, okay, okay. You know, Guan Leo, even though we do now have cavalry beating what I used to herald as like the greatest dueling march in the game, what about a march that's theoretically better at single target stuff that is Guan and Alex? Also very popular, but also still losing. Losing in this instance by 2,000 sev wounds. Losing in this instance by 7,000 sev wounds. Kind of savage. Losing again by 6,000 sev wounds. So we've got cavalry crushing infantry. That is very meaningful. Another 5,000 sev wound differential here. And then we switch it up to archers. Now, recall that last time the archers were winning by several thousand. So if cavalry start winning at all, that would be a pretty relevant improvement. And 
That is exactly what happens. Now we have the cavalry winning by 3,000 or 2,000 sev wounds, and then happens again. 3,000 sev wounds in favor of the cavalry. Not by as much as I would have expected, by the way. I kind of was expecting cavalry to obliterate the archers. Not the case. Here we go again. 29,000 to uh, 23,600. This is closer to what I would expect. That is a very heavily favored report for the Mina double C. And we did it again. 29,700 to 23,400. So we've got cavalry. That's right, folks. Minamoto double C beats Guan Leo, beats Guan Alex, beats Neb Song. We are crushing the meta with freaking Minamoto double C. But we're not done yet. What about XY William? Because XY William can also pwn the meta, but will it beat the new Relic Minamoto double C? And the answer is, oh baby, XY William crushes Minamoto with double C. 23,000 to 32,000 is a commanding victory for the XY William. And then again, 25,000 to almost 30,000. And then... 27,000 to 26,000, actually losing now. So Minamoto double C, throwing a punch here, claiming a victory. And then in the next test, 23,800 to 30,600. I think the skill cycle on XY William being faster really shortcuts Minamoto and double C's ability to crush it, especially because of the debuff on William, making it so that the skill damage bonuses all do not apply. William, I mean, that commander is good. That commander is really good, and it's worth mentioning that both XY and William do area of effect damage. So for Minamoto double C to be viable, it has to crush the, the duels, because I don't think it's going to be as good in a team fight. Except that debuff for Minamoto and double C actually is really good in a team fight. So what I'm going to show you now is footage from a couple team fights that we ran. I ran three marches, he ran three marches. And the three marches that I ran include a XY with William, a Neb with Esong, and then a Guan with Alex. He ran Guan with Alex, Neb with Esong. His gear's not quite as good as mine. He doesn't have a ring and horn on all of them. So I actually am still a little bit favored. The big differentiator is that I ran the XY William. He ran the Minna double C, both relict. Keep in mind, also the Esongs are all relict in these battles. Okay, so his Neb Esong, he's got relic. I have relic on the Esong, which is what you would expect. That was like your first relic that you went and did, right? <laughs> right? But let's get a look at these results. And in fact, you can watch the footage and see. The thing that I found most shocking is that, you know, like, okay, the march that gets focused is going to get wrecked. We focus down the XY with William first. Obviously, that's the one that's got to go. And, you know, the trade is pretty bad. Like, it gets the snot kicked out of it. I lose this trade by 16,000 troops and then against... Their cavalry unit, I lose the trade by a couple thousand troops. And, I mean, can we just talk about this for a second? They beat my XY William before I beat their Mina double C. I have better gear. I have more AOE in XY. The William is probably not hitting multiple targets. So what the heck, man? This is crazy. They are able to focus me out first. There's an advantage to that. Now, I'm going to clean up the rest of the fight because ultimately my gear is better on my other commanders. Now, we ran this configuration twice, and I can flip through the SEVs on kind of all of the, the units here just so you can see, and maybe we should just look at or focus in on how much did the Mina double C get beat up, because I showed you how much my XY got beat up, and, you know, look, my archers took 7,000, and his uh, Mina double C took 19,000 SEVs. That's definitely rough. If we look at another one of those reports, how much did my infantry do? 4,000 sevs for me and 16,000 sevs for him, right? So that's just the first round of testing. We did this all over again, and it was the same result. Like, they beat down my XY William, and it turns out that all the extra single target damage and all of those debuffs from the Minamoto and the Double C are really strong. They're really strong. So I feel like Mina Double C performed very admirably in a team fight, and I still wouldn't bring Minna double C over XY William, even with both the relics on the Minna double C, right? But I feel like if it's what you have, 
and you put the relics on them, they're going to do really well. And I wouldn't go out of my way to go and try to relic Mina double C and say, this is a combo that I'm investing it, you know, sculptures into over other places. No, I wouldn't do that. All right. I wouldn't put your sculptures into double C to try to make this combo. What I'm suggesting is that if you have these commanders and you drop the relics on them, I think you can use them in the open field and it will probably do better than you were expecting. Now, I, I do feel like you're probably better off splitting them up and using, for example, XY double C and Saladin Minamoto, just like throwing it out there as like a couple options to kind of protect those marches more or yeah, you're not really protecting the, the commander you pair with <laughs> xy but but if you wanted to like bring them and you had both of them and you wanted the cav marches i feel like that would be a better way to do it than to just put minna and double c together there's no inherent reason that minna and double c need to be together other than the fact that double c generates lots of rage some extra rage anyways and minamoto is very rage hungry and wants to fire off those active skills as fast as he possibly can. But there are other ways to do that. I think XY Minamoto is probably a, a higher damage way to go and do that, as would be Saladin and Minamoto. Uh, but not Khan. Don't do that. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. And if you're looking for more testing videos, I, I have a whole playlist where we have covered every single Relic Commander I can get my hands on. Cards up in the top if you want to go and check that out. Uh, and also, if you have any questions suggestions or questions about what you want to see next, please leave a comment letting me know. I read all your comments. I look at your comments to see which relic should I try to get my hands onto next so for testing. And like Mina double C was your comment and here it is being tested. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. And what do you think of these results?